Hey guys, I'm going to be showing you how to completely reset your password on a Ubuntu 12.04 machine uh, through all the way through every step from the login prompt here. So, uh, my username is, pass or is uh, Ubuntu, my password, I don't know what it is. I keep getting incorrect password, I have no idea how to log into my, sh my machine, I don't have a root password, what do we do? So what we're going to do is first, uh, control C out of the login, and we are going to reset the machine. You can either do this if it's a virtual machine, uh, go ahead up and hit uh, machine reset, virtual box, um, you'll get a message like this. Or if it's just a uh, regular machine, you can just hit the reset button, uh, control it, delete, whatever you want to do. All right, so once this happens, hit, hold the shift key as it's booting, and you'll get this grub boot menu. So um, what you're going to do is scroll down to recovery mode and hit enter. A bunch of text going to fly by. And you're going to see a uh, pop-up window. It's going to be nice and colorful. And scroll all the way down to where it says root. And this is going to drop us into a root shell. We are now going to need to mount the uh, disk as a readable disk. So we can do that by typing mount o, uh, mount dash o, remount, comma, rw, and then a space and a slash. This is going to uh, mount the root file system as a read-write uh, file system so that we can then edit it. Alright, once that's done, you're still in a root shell. If you've completely forgotten your username as well, uh, you can also cat Etsy password, and you'll see here down at the bottom uh, the list of usernames. So I have Ubuntu is the one I'm going to be changing. So we're going to type password Ubuntu, hit enter, and it's going to ask for a new Unix password for Ubuntu. So I am going to make this Ubuntu for the username and end password. And once you're done, it'll say password updated successfully. So once that is finished, you're going to go ahead and reboot the machine. And it's going to bring you back to this menu first. And uh, if you don't get a bunch of weird errors, you should just see the machine reboot. And here it comes. Now you can boot into regular mode. And when everything's done, you should now be able to log in with the password that you just set. Ta-da! Alright, that's all there is. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions about this, leave a comment. I'll do my best to help you out.